Welcome to this first look at HiArx Chess Explorer, the brand new chess software from the creator of the HiArx Chess Engine, Mark Uniac. So we've installed and registered the program, now let's take a look. Well over here on the left you can see what you'd expect from any major piece of chess software. This is the board pane, obviously here's where you can enter moves, play through moves, play through games, or even play a game against the chess engines. Over here we've got the notation pane, the game notation. You can see there's uh, the main game notation here, along with variations and annotations in this example. Down here in this particular area, it's called the Openings Explorer. It's a little bit like uh, an opening book is used in some other pieces of software. But what you can see here is all the available moves in the position, and uh, how many games that they've been done in and some other useful statistics about those positions. So you can see obviously we're set up to the opening position and the main moves e4, d4, knight f3 etc. This next pane here is called the Analysis Explorer. This is where you'll see the output of whichever analysis engine you've got loaded. At the moment we've got loaded obviously the brand new HiArx 14 World Computer Software Champion, the brand new engine from Mark Uniac which comes free, of course, with Hiarx Chess Explorer. And finally down here at the bottom we've got the Games Explorer. This is where you get to see all the games in a particularly selected database. You can select the games, play through them, and when you scroll down you can see just how many games we can have. Nearly a thousand games in this particular database, but you can uh, have more than that depending on your database. The different panes can all be resized, so if we wanted to uh, shrink or uh, expand any particular area, you can just move your cursor over the edges and uh, click and then drag. So as you can see, uh, once you expand or uh, shrink down any particular pane, the others uh, shrink or expand to fill the space. And uh, of course there's one thing that I can't uh, fail to mention, that's the help function. It's an important thing that uh, you might need to be have access to. Uh, there's two particular types of help. There's context help and then there's the full help file. If you just want to help about a particular area, say you're looking here in the Games Explorer and you want a specific bit of help, go up to the Help menu, click on Context Help, and this will open the help window for the Games Explorer, so the bit that you were, you were looking at um, when you asked for the help. You can also get the main uh, bit of help by going up to the Help menu, clicking Hiarx Chess Explorer Help, and you'll see this opens the uh, main Hiarx Chess Explorer Help Manual. Uh, lots and lots of information. So if you don't, uh, if you can't find um, the information in the context help, then everything you could possibly need to know is here in the main Hiarx Chess Explorer help. So there you go. That should give you a little bit of an idea about the user interface of the brand new Hiarx Chess Explorer.